We suck. It's just, you need to fire Zach Taylor right now. Hello, my name is Kyle Neese. I'm here in downtown Cincinnati where the Cincinnati Bengals just wa- lost and are now 0-3. Where they lost to the Washington Commanders. We're going to talk to some people, see what we can find out. Here are the gripes. There's a lot of gripes. There's a lot of people upset. Let's see what we can get in here. Anybody want to talk about that crap? Oh, it's me! This is a penalty! Mark, right here. Oh, you f***ing again! We lost to the penalty! What I can't point to it! Oh, it's me! I want to tell you what it's Right here. Right here. Right here. I don't give a f- Get the f- off. Reach out. Get out of your fucking party. Fuck this. F- you guys. F- you chase. You pussy out there. You not show me how you get. F- I don't know if we got any of that, but we suck. It's just, you need to fire Zach Taylor right now. No, you got rid of David not, Bell. You got to get rid of Zach Taylor. Come on. Get Let's better go. coaching, period. It's not all just about head coaching. It's about the entirety of the coaching. If nobody can get together and they can't coordinate together, it, and that goes for the offense, mainly because, you know what, we get these better players, as they say. You know what, you put them on the line. What happens? You don't coordinate them, and we have the same line we had last year, the same line previously. It's that's what happens. Oh, oh. Hey. oh and three, who they still? No. They played better today than they have all season so far. Offensively, offensively, defensively, there was mistakes, but there was also bad calls. Yeah. You know, what can you do though? All right, you can do is roll with the punches and get ready for next week. Well, we got to get rid of these chicken-hearted coaches. They're soft. Uh, they don't show strong leadership. Um, we got a very, really good quarterback, but he's got, got a strong personality, so we have to have somebody on the sidelines who actually can help, like, uh, accompany his leadership, that Burrow's leadership style, which is, you know, lead by example. But uh, we need a coach that, that, that has a little bit of pulse, and we can't play such soft zone defense, and that's been the Bengals' a crux. Ever since Anna Rumo has been our team, we got good players, which makes Anna Rumo look like a good defensive coordinator. So pissed off about this game. Our defense was trash, and they played us like some suckers and kept going for it on fourth down. Like, embarrassing. Very embarrassing. I mean, yeah, the end of the score wasn't too bad, but we look like trash out there. Good night. Oh, yeah. You all right? Oh, yeah. okay. their, def- their defense sucks. It did. It did. That well, they they got to figure it out. They ran all over them today. They- <laughs> With a uh, third string running back, yes. Yeah. Brian Robinson is trash. But they did run all over. They did. They did. Have you got any words for the team? Anything like that? You um, Joe Burrow did good. Yeah. They got defense sucks. Abysmal. I mean, Everything possible that defensively could have gone wrong. You allow 38 points to the Washington Commanders. It wasn't a single punt. I don't think by the end of that game. I, well, no. the Bengals didn't have one either, which is a positive. Yeah. But I mean, this field goal, I, it's it's terrible, inexcusable. No punts against Jaden Daniels made him look like the best quarterback in the NFL. Ran all over. All over. Every fourth down they converted. I'm pretty sure. Like every third down too. Everything went bad. Thank you guys so much. We're on to the Panthers next week. Hopefully we can come back with a win and start over somewhere. Somewhere. (laughs) Please subscribe. Check us out every week. Every game will be here.